environmentally, there are no other choices. She's very much an integral part of our operation because without her, we don't have wine bottles. Every winery should be standing in line saying, bring us your wine bottles. Bunker Hill wine is packaged exclusively in recycled bottles, all contributed by past customers. Choices are very simple. Do we let these guys just end up in landfills or get broke up and added to the asphalt in our roads and we gotta go back and replace them and spend all that fossil fuel and everything else and mine all those resources and waste all that time and effort and money and everything else? Or is it better just to take the wine bottle, remove that old egg, and repurpose it back into a wine bottle? Every winery should be doing that, not just us. The variety of grape that we grow here is a variety called Muscadine grape. It's native to the southeast United States. It's an American original. It's not from anywhere else on planet Earth. But because it is native, it's perfectly suited for this environment. But the Holy Grail is really these four words, grown, produced, vented, and bottled. When you see that on a wine label, I don't care if it's here, I don't care if it's anywhere, that is telling you that that winery is doing everything. They're growing the grapes, they're growing the fruits for the wines. They're carrying that process all the way through, really up until you get to this point and you're actually enjoying the wine. The other thing is extremely important is this word unfiltered. That means that this wine has not going through any filtration process whatsoever. So the only difference is that a year ago, this, the fruit that made this wine was actually growing out front. There's nothing added to your wine other than a year of aging. And it's also in a recycled wine bottle. <laughs> but Larry's evangelism for sustainable practices goes well beyond the recycled bottles. The vineyard drip irrigation system is solar powered. Only real oak corks are used. All Bunker Hill bottles are sealed with genuine hot wax. Even the selection of native grape varietals that don't require fertilizer or pesticides evince his passion. All these in concert make this the greenest winery in America. Richard, I'm going to take you over to the wine cave. We're going to take a look at the wines actually aging. Well, you're in the wine cave. This is where everything in here is aging. There's nothing fermenting. Everything is aging in here. The reason we use glass, most people think of wineries, they're thinking of oak barrels and things like that. The ultimate end uh, use for a, a wine barrel is going to end up as a, in a lawn and garden center somewhere as a planter. We know that glass is absolutely the best material for aging wine for two basic reasons. Once you invest the fossil fuels to create this glass carboy, you're done. It will literally last forever. If we don't break this 10,000 years from now, somebody in our future could actually be using it. it it'll last that long. It just goes on forever. It can be cleaned and sanitized forever, just like wine bottles. Forever and ever and ever, it's glass. But the biggest reason with glass, and the reason it's so perfect for wines, is that it's inert. It means that it doesn't add or subtract to what you put in it. So we can literally go from red wines to white wines to orange wines to peach wines. We can go wherever we want to go with our wines over decades and decades and decades and never have it influenced by the pack. I follow Larry's very small carbon footprints around the grounds. Under this wedding arch, we've had many, many weddings. You notice here, you'll see names and the date of the wedding. When you get married, your, your, your marriage should last just, like, just as long as this glass. Changing the world one glass at a time. <laughs> <laughs> salute and happy days. Salute. Salute day. <laughs>